Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is voice crack again. No, I'm just kidding. So anyway, today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys another method of leveling up in PoE that a lot of people don't really do. Um, and this is a pretty interesting method. I leveled from like, I think, 77 to 88 in like, I don't know exactly how long, maybe, I don't know, 6 to 10 hours. I can't give you an exact amount. Uh, but it's a very chill, very easy, very passive method. And if you do this with your friends, it costs virtually nothing. So there's a map called Coward's Trial you can buy for about three chaos each. I was actually buying them out for two chaos a couple days ago, but the prices have uh, risen a little bit. But there's so many of them you can see here on POE Trade. Um, and the reason why Coward's Trial is a very nice map is because what you can do with Coward's Trial is for builds that are not based on clear speed, this map is amazing for you. And I'm just going to show you guys as an example with some people in it. Essentially, what you do in Coward's Trial is you go inside and the mobs will just spawn. They will just continuously spawn and they won't ever stop spawning. They literally do not ever stop. Um, well, I mean, eventually they stop, but for now they, they don't really stop. So if you have any build that, for example, can pull mobs together, or if you have a Vol Cycloner, or even if just you have a couple people on each side of the room, that's totally fine. Um, and like I said, I mean, I was leveling pretty well inside here. Now, I brought some other people in here just to show you guys an example of a little bit of like what it looks like with some more people. Uh, hopefully, your your run won't be as cancer as mine currently. Um, but uh, it's really not a bad map. Although, when you have like fucking pillars like this in this layer, it kind of does suck. Uh, there is also a guaranteed unique that you can find at the end of the map. Um, it drops every single time, and I don't know what it's restricted to, but this is a T9 map. And as it's a T9 map, it's pretty okay. Like, it's honestly not bad. I could, I'm level 93. I could probably level in here right now in this T9 map. It might take me half the day, but I could probably do it. Look, a Harbinger mob. No problem. Alright, team, can you guys stand on the other side? I don't think they can hear me. Let's pretend they can hear me. I should have joined. You want to come, man? I still got space if you'd like. Will it blend? It can drop anything not league restricted, so you can actually get Skyforth. That's pretty interesting. I didn't. I don't know anything about that. Oh, is this guy stuck here? Okay. Now, when it says the room grows still and quiet, that's when you're able to go to the next area. Oh, it's hardcore only, man. I'm sorry, but um, that's when you know that you've killed all the mobs and it's time to move on to the next area. Skyforth has item level drop. Yeah, see, that's why I was saying I don't, I don't really know specifically what the requirements are of uniques. Um, I've, I found Skyforth one time, and it was from Shaped Courtyard, which was off the bosses. But I don't know. So people are saying they changed it for this map. The room grows still and quiet. All right, this is the boss room. I actually remember chaining cowards trials on my builds all the time as a little newbie because uh, they used. To, I think it used to be a T1 map, right?
The only thing you have to be careful of in this room is that the boss does uh, revive all of the monsters. Well, not all of the monsters, but he revives the monsters, like, pretty fast. Uh, so make sure you either detonate dead the corpses or, like, flesh offering them or just kill the boss. He's not, like, very tanky. And before we get a Skyforth from this, just to like prove a point, that'd be amazing. Can you get a Skyforth drop, please? Okay, is this the Necro guy? Is he here? I don't even know. Is this? A I think this is the boss because I'm lagging. Is he? Is he there? No, I um. Oh, there's the boss. Okay, that's him right there. So I don't do any damage, and this is like four-player health. So. Uh, this is gonna be a little awkward. I'm gonna pop in tornado. Let's see, barrage instead. Here we go. It's, it's like okay. Team, give me your energy. I need help with the deeps. <laughs> hey, look, we got a unique map from a unique map. So uh, look at that. Uh, price pretty much paid off. <laughs> look, look at that. Easy, easy, no problem. Alright boys, so that's pretty much going to be about it. That's a dream within a dream, yeah. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, remember, don't let the clear speed meta get to you. It's okay if your build doesn't go zoom zoom. You can still have fun with it. No problem. But anyway, like I said, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you boys all later. Take care, everybody.